So I welcome both the speaker and translator, uh, Dubey and uh, Isharaja. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, good morning and good night to everyone. So I'm happy to be here as well. So I am the assistant. I'm going to be introducing everything for you to be able to understand. I'm going to try to do it as best as possible, okay? Um, so is Dubai Verrio? So, okay, he's gonna start up right now. Thank you so much. Profe, ya puedes comenzar. Por favor, dale otra vez el view que le habíamos dado antes mm, para que se vea. Ok. ¿Me escuchas ahí, Isabela? Sí, sí, profe, ahí se escucha. Dale así full screen para okay, que se vea así, como no, que pasemos la presentación. Ah, ok, ok. Lo mismo que habíamos hecho ahorita. ¿Se observa bien? No, ahorita dale en los tres sí. puntitos y vuelve a dar en donde le habíamos dado, ¿te acuerdas? Dale en los tres puntitos. Ok, un segundo. Okay. No, 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 en los tres ¿Dónde? puntitos. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ah. Ahí. Y ocultar vista de moderador. Ocultar vista de moderador ahí, arriba. Perfecto. ¿Así está bien? ¿Sí? sí, así está perfecto. Ok, muy buenos días. Eh, me presento, mi nombre es Dubai Darío. Eh, soy de Bogotá, Colombia. Soy técnico investigador y en este momento voy a desarrollar eh, eh, este tema que, por el cual eh, la Asociación Internacional de Científicos eh, me ha invitado y con gran beneplácito recibo esta invitación. Thank you so much and everybody. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I am very thankful for your invitation. It's my pleasure to be here today. Um, Today, we're going to be presenting this topic to the International E-Conference, um, uh, sorry, Fourth International E-Conference. And we are very, very grateful for the invitation one more time. My name is Dubai Berrio. I am from Bogota, Colombia. And yeah. Gracias. Okay, Dubai, ¿me años I've been reviewing uh, the criminal investigations for about 15 years. Y la experiencia que tengo como eh, ex examinador de huellas latentes ha sido eh, una de mis mayores profesiones en la actualidad. The experience that I've got uh, reviewing the latent uh, fingerprints has been one of my uh, full-time professions uh, in my whole journey. In ese sentido, eh, me encargo principalmente de hacer eh, este tipo de exploraciones a nivel de huella latentes para obtener eh, resultados efectivos dentro de los procesos en Colombia, dentro de los procesos judiciales en Colombia. So in the disorder of ideas, this is uh, what I am basically full time on. Uh, I do all of the explorations of this topic in order to help in the investigations in the, uh, you know, law investigations in Colombia. Este tema de comparación de huellas eh, tomadas en las cintas de trasplante eh, es una necesidad de estudio eh, ya que nosotros debemos como examinadores de huellas latentes eh, obtener la mejor calidad de la información para poder ser incorporada al proceso. All right, so this topic about comparison and analysis of the third level, it's, it, 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 it was born basically as a need that we had to, to develop all of the processes and investigations in our country. No es fácil hacer eh, exploraciones 
ya que se requiere tener toda la totalidad de la información lo más fiel posible para que tengamos un excelente resultado. It's not easy for us to um, develop uh, this type of technique sometimes because of so many facts. Um, and so for us, it's a challenge to be developing this uh, process in order to get the most uh, clear information as possible. Las técnicas de observación eh, por el experto eh, requiere que tengamos las mejores herramientas para poder estandarizar los procedimientos. The observation technique uh, it is very, very essential to us nowadays, now that we need to do uh, the more um, technical procedure in order to get the more uh, clear and perfect uh, results and information from every single fingerprint. Nuestro primer sentido eh, en, el, en, en, en este registro eh, será nuestros ojos. O sea, a partir de nuestra visión, eh, nosotros podemos determinar efectivamente la calidad de la información que estamos recolectando. So our first um, sense that we are going to be using right here is our vision. Now that is the first uh, thing that we can use in order to, to get the, the information. This is the first sense that we are going to be using. Es decir, debemos confiar en lo que observamos, pero no podemos dejar de lado las herramientas técnicas que tenemos como tecnología. So that means that we need to trust in what we are uh, seeing and but we cannot leave down the tools that we have as the technology. Voy a hacer una pequeña remembranza del señor David Asbrook. Eh, quien en su compendio de eh, el análisis de las crestas de fricción en el año 99, pues nos da a nosotros una luz de cómo hacer los procedimientos en la observación. So in here we're taking in count um, this one right here, this David uh, Ashford. Um, he just gave us kind of like a light on what we can do in observation techniques. El método cuantitativo y cualitativo de las crestas de fricción hace que nosotros como examinadores de huella de dientes podamos establecer la necesidad de conocer ese, eh, esa técnica específica que la dactiloscopia nos da. So this method gives us uh, such as important information about how we can uh, develop the information and um, get enough uh, information as well uh, for us to, to, to get to the point of the whole investigation. El primer paso es obtener un mejor resultado en la fotografía. Y eso se hace a través de una gran paciencia para tomar esas fotos que necesitamos para obtener el mejor detalle. So the first step for us is to get, to get a good photography. So that is why we are using the macro photography. Uh, this is in order to get more information about what we are needing and you know, to help out the process with this. Uh, to do this, we need to get like a lot of patience, of course, and a lot of techniques, not only with the uh, fingerprints, but also with the cameras in order to get the, the best information as possible. Si observamos la diapositiva, o en este caso, eh, tenemos una impresión que tiene tinta eh, en su piel y otra que está sin tinta, siendo el mismo dedo. 
All right, if we look at the photographies that we are showing right now, uh, we can see one that has tint on it and the other one has not. Observamos que la piel de fricción, en este caso, o la piel, tiene unos detalles importantes en la piel misma. Veamos que pueden ser posiblemente por enfermedades de la misma. All right, so in this picture that we are, uh, you know, selecting right now, uh, the second one, the one that has tint on it, we can see some uh, lines, some fine lines on the fingerprint. And those are characteristics that made us think that maybe that could be because of an accident or also with, because of an illness. Desafortunadamente, nosotros no podemos ver la piel de precisión directamente. Es por eso que cuando recuperamos la impresión, ya lo hacemos sobre la superficie o sobre una cinta de trasplante. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot always see the fingerprint uh, or the finger itself, and we cannot put tint on it because of obvious reasons. But anyways, uh, that is the reason why we are always looking to find a way to put those impressions that we can find in so many places uh, in the in the in the tape in the transplanted transplant tape. Estos detalles pueden generar una confusión al examinador de huellas latentes. These details that we are showing right here can, you know, generate a uh, confusion on the technical uh, or, well, the technique that is uh, checking the, the information. This can generate confusion. Observaremos dos videos de una secuencia de una recolección de una huella latente. All right, so now we're going to be looking for two different videos about how we are recollecting the fingerprints on this uh, surface. As it's in the image, you can see that it is a, it, it's not too visible, but anyways, it's a, a rough type of surface. It has pores and uh, well, we're just, just gonna watch the videos right now. All right, give us a second, please. One second, please. Isabel, ¿hacer algún permiso de, de la presentación? Déjame mm. segundo, yo le pregunto. Okay, um, we're wondering if this may be something about, you know, sharing the screen that is not allowing us to, to, to play the video. So, Mr. Rajid, are you there? Okay. All right, now we can see it. Isabella, ¿lo ves? Sí, 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 dale. Ahí está, es reproduciendo. Okay. 
Okay. Gracias. En este video observamos cómo se extrae una impresión latente a partir de un reactivo sobre una superficie porosa. So in this video that we are showing right now, uh, we can see how we are revealing um, a latent uh, fingerprint uh, in a porous surface. Para el mejoramiento de la impresión, es necesario limpiar los excesos del producto. In order to get a better quality of the impression, we need to clean out the excess of product. Para ello se utilizan los elementos que convencionalmente los eh, expertos trabajamos en la escena. So for this, we are using the elements that uh, conventionally we, with the experts have been using uh, in this in the sign crime. Crime scene, sorry. Debemos observar el resultado posteriormente al mejor detalle para el registro fotográfico. After this process, we have to uh, look for the result and in order to get the photographic um, register, registration, sorry. Profe, por favor, puedes colocarlo full otra vez. ¿Qué están diciendo ahí en el chat? ¿Qué lo coloco yo? Segundo, segundo. ¿Así? Ahí está, está perfecto ya. Sí. Gracias. Observamos en las imágenes que a la observación tenemos detalle de la impresión con las características que la piel ha depositado en la superficie. So now we can see on detail what uh, we got from this process. Um, basically, we can check and we can we are able to see the characteristics that the skin has, uh, you know, put in the surface and has left left in the surface. Notemos la característica que nos refleja en la postura de la piel por la enfermedad de la misma. All right, so in the second picture, we can see um, the characteristics that we were talking in the beginning about these fine lines that we can find uh, in fingerprint. Um, this is uh, something that we actually believe is because of an illness or because of an accident, it can be both. Aquí haremos la extracción de la impresión latente en la superficie porosa. So in this uh, process, we're going to be lifting the fingerprints uh, with the tape from the porous surface. Isabela, debo salir, o sea, debo salir de esa presentación para poder mostrar el video y volvemos de nuevo a la, a la presentación full. ¿Listo? Sí, sí. So uh, we're just going to uh, pause it a little bit in order to be able to see the video, and then we're going to put it back uh, on full screen. La cinta tiene unos componentes que permiten atrapar el reactivo para que pueda adherirse a la goma de la cinta. So this tape has specific components that allow us to get uh, uh, the powder on the last process that we already made. Um, and these components help us to get those uh, reagents into the gum of the tape. So 
that this is the process that we are showing right es now. Es importante hacer una buena. Okay. Dale, dale, dale. Es importante hacer una muy buena adhesión del tacto hacia la cinta para que tome la mayor cantidad de características. So it's very important for us to take most of the, you know, uh, information and characteristics on the tape. So that is the reason why we are pressing on the tape in order to get uh, the most product as possible in order to get the most characteristics that are possible for us. Observemos las impresiones después de que se ha recolectado la, la misma o la impresión en la cinta y cómo la vamos a comparar con la con la impresión de una reseña dactiloscópica. So, uh, in the first picture we have the ping, the fingerprint reveal, which means that that is the information that we got from the porous surface on the tape, and we can also see the fingerprint uh, on th that was with tint on something that right here uh, we call the tint finger finger card. Um, so this is a, this is a comparison of both. Observamos que hay deficiencia en el seguimiento de las líneas que componen el dactilograma. So in the first picture, we can see that we have lost a lot of uh, information on the tape. And we have not, uh, we were not able to get uh, the lines and the like the process and the following lines um, in order to get all of the characteristics. Observaremos un caso donde tuvimos la oportunidad de trabajar para obtener impresiones latentes en el caso de un robo. This is a, a case that we already worked on. We had the opportunity to work on this. Uh, in this um, process, we had to um, try to find and reveal uh, Latin fingerprints on a robbery case. This case occurred in the city of Bogota. Eh, se nos ha solicitado a nuestra oficina de investigación realizar esta exploración de forma privada. So this case was in the in the in Bogota city. Um, this uh, case got to our office, and we were required to uh, do this process in a um, secret type of way. Los hechos ocurren dentro de un apartamento en un tercer piso. The facts were in an apartment in a third floor. Sí. Se observan las eh, zonas comunes del apartamento y nos dirigimos hacia donde se encuentra una caja de seguridad ubicada en un cuarto al fondo del mismo apartamento. So we can see in the pictures the apartment, uh, the familiar places of the apartment and the place where we are, you know, looking for the fingerprints were in the last uh, room of the apartment. In the parte posterior de la puerta, or in the parte de atrás de la puerta, se ubica un mueble con unos eh, con unas divisiones en madera y en la parte de más eh, más arriba se encuentra una caja de seguridad metálica. All right, so behind the door that we just shared in the last picture, we had this uh, type of library. Uh, in the top of this, uh, we can see a safe box or a security box. Um, and that is the place where we were looking for. Y 
Inicialmente, la policía, cuando llega a atender el caso por la denuncia que hace la dueña del apartamento, la misma policía le dice a la señora que por el material que tiene esta caja, no es posible recolectar huellas. So, uh, when this first happened and when the victim actually called the police, the police told them that it was not going to be possible to recollect information or fingerprints from this material because of its metal. Ocurre muchas veces que cuando la policía no realiza su gestión, se puede llegar a generar un detrimento al proceso. So it happens a lot, uh, unfortunately, that when the police is checking this type of cases, they are just not um, in the kind of like in the mood, I would say, in order to find out every kind of resource in order to get the more information. And that is why we can uh, damage the processes. Observemos que después de que se hace un revelado, con los reactivos que nosotros mismos procesamos, encontramos impresiones latentes reveladas. So now we can see in this picture right here um, that uh, when we put on the reactives that we made ourselves um, in order to get uh, latent impressions, fingerprint impressions, uh, we can get to see them and it's also possible in this metal um, material. Isabela, debo salirme de nuevo, poner el video y vuelvo a reintegrarme de nuevo, ¿listo? Sí, dale, profe. So now we're just going to get out one more time of the full screen and then we're just going to uh, play the video and then we'll, we'll be right back. Observemos cómo se inicia haciendo una exploración con reactivos in polvo. Right, so we were starting by making the exploration with this um, powder uh, reagent. También utilizamos linternas que apoyan esa observación, ya que estas cuentan con una luz de una longitud específica. All right, so we are also supporting the process with this uh, light. Uh, this is alternative uh, light source. Um, we were supporting the process by using them. Uh, they have uh, like a, a specific length that help us with this type of re re reagents. Es necesario hacer los procedimientos teniendo en cuenta la técnica de exploración y la técnica de observación con luces alternativas. It's necessary to do all the process uh, keeping in mind um, the exploration technique and also the um, observation technique in order to get more information and more quality in the information that we get. Observemos el resultado de la impresión con mayor detalle y tenemos impresiones al costado de esta caja de seguridad. So now we can see the result that we got uh, after using the reagents. Uh, these are fluorescent reagents and also supporting our process with this. In the side of the box, we can find this latent um, fingerprints 
that we did not reveal in the moment, but we just found him only by using the alternative alternative light, sorry. La impresión que estamos observando en la imagen de la derecha aún no ha sido revelada con ningún reactivo. Solamente estamos utilizando una luz en un ángulo determinado para poder observar la presencia de esas huellas latentes. So in the right picture, we are looking at these fingerprints that we did not reveal. Uh, we are just uh, getting our support from the lights. Um, and that is why we were able to find it. And that is also why it's very important in the use of these lights in order to support the whole process to get more information. Una vez revelada con eh, la huella con reactivo, observamos la presencia más definida de huellas y observamos que hay una impresión con mejor detalle. So once we revealed the fingerprints, so we can see one specific, uh, that is the one that we are showing in the right uh, picture, that has more details on it. Al comparar las imágenes que tenemos en nuestra, en nuestra diapositiva, observamos que la imagen de la izquierda corresponde a la fotografía que se halla la impresión encima de la superficie directamente. So we can see here in the left picture, uh, the, this is the photography of, uh, that we took of the, on the metal surface. We got this uh, in the crime scene. La imagen de la derecha corresponde a la impresión recolectada en la cinta de trasplante. Si hacemos la comparación, vamos a encontrar que hay irregularidades en el trasplante de la impresión. All right, and in the right picture, we can find uh, the fingerprint that we got from the transplant tape. So we can see that if you put it in a comparison, uh, you can see the regularities in the transplantation uh, because of the quality and uh, of, the, of, the, of the tape or of the process. And so that take us to another issue because that make us lose uh, some characteristics of the third level. Esto se debe, o la razón se debe, a que la presión que se ejerció sobre la cinta no fue suficiente. This is because of, this happens mostly because of the pressure of the, that we was applied on the tape. It was not enough, and that is the reason why it was not possible to get the most information. Siempre se recomienda trabajar cintas de trasplante que tengan mayor calibre, mayor grosor. So this is a recommendation. So uh, we actually recommend it a lot to use these uh, tapes that are thicker. Uh, they work a thousand times better in order to get more information. Entre más calibre tenga una cinta, mayor capacidad de extraer características con reactivo será muchísimo mejor. All right, so the most uh, thick that the tape is, is the actually uh, better for the process because it's going to allow us to get more information on the transplant tape. So that is better for the process. En este caso, 
tenemos una impresión latente que recuperaremos sobre madera y esta madera tiene una superficie irregular. Utilizaremos la cinta que anteriormente hemos visto. So in this case, we are recollecting a fingerprint on a wood surface. Uh, this uh, surface is not totally um, perfect, so it's kind of like uh, porous as well. And we are going to be using the tape that we showed previously. La impresión se va a recolectar en su totalidad, a pesar de que se observan irregularidades en la superficie. So the impression that we got in this case, it was recollected, uh, totally recollected, and it was very, very successful, the process. Uh, no matter that there were some irregularities, anyways, it was possible for us to get more information and it was better for the process as well. En este caso, observamos que la impresión de la izquierda se encuentra en la cinta de trasplante y notamos la gran calidad de información que tiene esta impresión en la cinta. Con esto se pudo hacer el complejo directamente con uno de los eh, delincuentes que estuvieron en este hecho. All right. So in this case, in the left picture, we can see the um, fingerprint that we got on the tape uh, in the case that we show, uh, previously showed. Um, and that we can also check the quality on the image uh, because we, can, we, could, we were able to get the more information and characteristics uh, that was possible. And this one, this picture in the right side, we is the actual um, 10 finger uh, comparison. Uh, this is the 10 finger card that we got. Uh, and this is the comparison of both. So we can see all of the characteristics. Es importante tener claro que cuando vamos a utilizar cintas de trasplante y vayamos a tener un resultado, debemos verificar la calidad de la impresión para no tener errores en la observación. So it's important for us to keep in mind that we have to check first the impression that we got on the tape in order to be able to uh, don't make any mistake in the observation process. All right, sorry, we just lost our connection for a second. We're going to reconnect, sorry. Bien. Eh, yo agradezco a la organización. Yo agradezco a la organización. Por esta invitación. Por esta invitación. Para mí es We un placer haber estado eh, acompañándolos en la mañana de hoy. 
again here. We are very, very thankful to be here. Uh, we are also very thankful for allowing us to be here for your invitation. It was an honor for us to be uh, sharing this information to you. Um, y eh, agradezco a la, a la Asociación Internacional de Científicos e Investigadores por esta gran oportunidad. Eh, al a Mr. Ranger, eh, de todo corazón, le agradezco esta invitación. Si hay preguntas, por favor, eh, estoy dispuesto a escucharlas. Okay, so we are very thankful with the organization um, and uh, also with um, Mr. Rajit uh, 